everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Link's Awakening. Now, I don't know how, but in this, every single episode, I seem to end off in the same area. It's like I'm attracted to this area. It's like magnetism. Anyways, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, so let's just continue on with the game. So, in our last episode, we got the power bracelet, as well as a few bombs. So now, we can bomb shit. Awesome! So, I have no idea where I'm going, to be completely honest with you, because it's been quite a while since I've played this game, and I really don't remember where we're supposed to go after the second dungeon. But, I do remember that there is a bombable wall on the beach, so I want to check it out and see if I can get anything there. So that's pretty much what this episode is going to be, mainly just exploration, uh, seeing where I can get to now that I have the power bracelet, and yeah, all that good stuff. So where the hell is it? I don't remember. But there was a bomb of a wall here somewhere. Where are you, buddy? Ow! That wasn't nice. Okay, so the bomb of the wall's not here! Also, um, if I collect a few more rupees, I should be able to afford a shovel. And we do need a shovel in the game for certain things, so... Ah, here's the bomb of the wall. So I will definitely eventually be getting that shovel. Uh, my sword is still very weak. Alright, so let's put this bombs to use. The very first use of the bombs. And in this game, when you do use the bombs, I don't want to waste them, so I don't want to show you yet. But you can actually use it, and then also lift it up and throw it. So I kind of like that. So, what's in here? Huh. There's nothing here. Odd. You know what's funny? I really don't remember. I think there was a use for this area, but I'll be damned if I know, so we kind of bombed that for nothing. Oh well. I've already wasted three minutes of the episode, and we've gotten nothing done! Isn't that great? But check this out! Oh yeah, we can go this way. We got 50 rupees! Very nice. So, now we can go explore this area. See if there's anything we can actually get from here. Uh, now that we have the power bracelet, a lot opens up, I'll say that much. Oh, this is disappointing. There's nothing here! Oh well. Yes, we come back here later. Can't get there yet. Because our feather will not allow us to jump that far, so that's a dead end. So, this is all for nothing! Boy, when I said we're going to accomplish nothing in this episode, I guess we really were going to accomplish nothing. Don't worry, I still have a good 12 minutes left of recording time, so we'll get her done. I'm just trying to figure out where the hell to go. I don't remember. It's terrible. Ah, oh, God, it's a Monday. That's all I gotta say, it's a Monday today. I don't like Mondays. I'm tired. So, so tired. Seriously, though, Mondays are exhausting. Like, I freaking woke up this morning, and I just... I, I was not having it. I was not having any of it. I... Ugh. Oh, God. Got to work. I was still tired. Five o'clock rolled around. I was still tired. That's Mondays for you. You're just tired all the time. Okay, so now we're in a new area. Now, these things are interesting because... Right now, nothing happens if you drop into it. It basically just takes you to the same place. But as you discover these weird-looking things, these actually serve as transports from one to another. If you've seen Castlevania Symphony of the Night, or played it, it works the same way as the warps, where one area warps to the other area, warps to the other area, etc. What is in here? Okay... Which way? Which way? Um... Let's try this way. That's it? All that for a rupee? All that for a rupee? Oh, and a guardian acorn! Yay! 
nothing else here. I don't remember. It's like, this is the second area I've gone to that I just don't remember. Cave looking area, whatever. Okay, sure. Continuing on. All right, let's not go that way yet. Let's go down. Because down is probably the wrong way, so that's the way I want to go. So much grass everywhere. It's terrible. Ah. A keyhole here, it says. Looks like one of the next dungeons of the game. And actually, in fact, it is the next dungeon of the game. So, our next mission is to get that key. Where do we get that key from? Ooh, that's bad. Froggies! Salutations. You wouldn't know by the look of me, but I used to live in a castle. My servants went berserk, and I was forced to flee to my villa. So, you want the key to the UK Prairie? Do ya? I may be able to help you. Let's make a deal, shall we? I want you to retrieve the golden leaf I left behind in the castle when I fled. Sure. Smashing! Who uses that terminology anymore? To tell the truth, there are five leaves, and I want them all. I'm so greedy. I want them all. It's terrible. Uh. Yes, yes, yes. I need a shovel. And right away they tell you that you need a shovel, and I missed that end, so let me go to that again. I'm able to help you. Let's make a deal, shall we? I want you to retrieve the golden leaf I left behind in the castle when I fled. Okay. Smashing, to tell you the truth, there are five leaves, and I want them all. Oh, you'll need to dig. Do some digging, so go buy a shovel. That sucks. I forgot about that. I didn't realize that I actually needed the leaf this early on. It is what it is. It's okay. That's alright. I will get a shovel eventually. One of these years. But let's continue exploring. Why not? So, as you see, you cannot swim yet. We obviously will get the flippers later on so that we can swim, but not just yet. So as you can see, that is how we get to the next dungeon, but we again don't have the key, so can't quite do anything with that. Now doesn't that look suspicious? Ow. We'll be back for that as well. Can't swim, which means we can't get up there either. Boy, we can't go anywhere! It's terrible! Ow. Jesus! Good lord. Let's talk to the phone guy and see if he gives us a little tip of where we gotta go. Old man Ulri right here. Do you like bananas? Try talking to people in the village again. Bye. So pretty much the bananas thing is kind of why I did side quests early on. Because we needed to do now all those side quests to get the bananas in order for us to advance to this next section of the game. But we got bananas, so what good is it gonna do? Well, where does this lead? There's so many ways! Oh my god! Jesus Christ, there's a lot of ways. <laughs> I don't remember this many ways. Looks like I'm not gonna get shit accomplished in this episode. Not a goddamn thing. Ah, I'm still getting some hearts back. Put it simply, I need the shovel. Now this place is interesting. This is where we turn in our seashells. If we collect enough of them, we get rewards. So we'll be back there definitely later on in the game to turn in more seashells. Ooh, and speaking of seashells, look at that. We just got another secret seashell. Plenty of them. So I guess this is going to be more of an exploration episode, and what in the hell is that? We'll be back for him. Can't go that way either. All dead ends. So, what good are the bananas? Ooh, give to Kiki! Yes! Ooh, Kiki, monkeys, come! 
So this is why you needed to get the bananas early on, because now you can turn it into the monkeys, and uh, they'll go ahead and be so kind to build a bridge for you. And this is the only way you can advance in the game, and this is why I said mandatory side quests are mandatory. You found a stick, a monkey left behind. And the stick that we got continues the next series of side quests, um, which we don't have to really worry about now. But now we can head to the castle area here. So let's go ahead and do that. Another phone booth. Yeah, it's me. Hmm, you can't find all the leaves, you say. That's a stumper. Aha, check out the raven by the castle. In any case, try many things. I know, I know, I know. Oh! A shortcut. It's a secret to everybody! Where does this take us? Ooh, this is mysterious. That sucked. That's not what I wanted to happen, but that's fine. Ooh. Shortcut! Anyways. Piece of power! We got the power! Nintendo power! We got the power. Oh! Oh boy, this is not good. I'm gonna die. This is not good, I'm gonna die. Look at this. Look at this broken game right now. Come on. Sucked. <laughs> it is what it is. What are you gonna do? Wow, I died again? That's not good. What is this now? This, the second time I've died in the game? That's alright. I can't believe I died. Anyways, you're supposed to kill that little area because you will get a golden leaf for there. And I lost my piece of power. Damn, this is awful. This is not good. Look at this spawn nonsense going on right now. Come on, where are you? Shit! Ah! <laughs> Dude! Guess what? And he gets all his health back because I teleported screens! Kill it! Ah! Kill it! Kill it! I don't remember this guy being this hard. Why am I struggling? There you go! You found the golden leaf! You can see how many you have on the subscreen. So we have one, and if you remember, they said there's five here, so... Ah! Freaking, my controller got stuck. That wasn't cool. Okay, so we got... One leaf. Where are those other leaves? I wonder. None here. Leaf anyone? Leaf anyone? Leaf anyone? How do I wake him up? I think I gotta throw... Throw something at him, right? There you go. Aha! We got the second leaf! Two out of five! See how many you have on the subscreen. I don't need to. I know how many I have. I honestly, folks, do not remember how to get all five. Um, okay, so that took me around. So we got two out of five. Let's go ahead and head into the castle and see if maybe we can get a few more in there. Ooh, spooky. Whoa. Now I'm going to show you guys a little trick. Perfect time to... Show that off. Ah! Get off of me! Ooh, another leaf! Sweet! So, this is what I wanted to show you. Um, if you equip the powder, and you actually sprinkle it on these guys, little nice trick. It 
drops a fairy! And we're gonna be able to utilize that trick a lot in this game, especially in future dungeons, so just keep that... Keep that in mind, don't forget. Okay, so we got three leaves. Where do we get the other two? Huh? It sounds like the castle gate opened. You can easily leave the castle now. Sweet. We just opened up a nice little shortcut for us to get the hell out of here. Ah, yes. I remember this very well. How do we kill those things? Well, I don't know how you're supposed to know this, but you're supposed to use bombs on them. I don't know how the hell you were supposed to know that without help, but, hey, there were some older, obscure games that were even harder to figure out, so it is what it is. Yay! Four leaves! One left! Where do we get it? Let's continue on. Ah, is that where we get it? Uh, I'm sure it is. Now, they said, I, they said I needed a shovel, but I guess I don't. For some reason, I thought I did need a shovel. Anyways, all you do is just throw that there, simple enough, and... Look at that, I got him trapped in a corner. Dead. <laughs> yeah! You got the final go and leave, now go and see Richard about that key! Alright, folks. So, with that done... That completes that! Sweet. All right, so we will stop the episode here, and in our next episode, we'll go return the golden leaves to the guy, and then head to the next dungeon of the game. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Comment down below, subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.